In lesson two, we're going to discuss something that specifically we have to do with Thrivecart that is different than all the other platforms. So in WordPress, you can download plugins that these social media platforms have to install your pixels. And same thing with Kajabi. They're pretty easy to add. So I've already showed you how to add things into your heading tag, into your, head into your header section on Kajabi. Well, sometimes you also need to do that inside of Thrivecart. So if you go into your Thrivecart account and you remember we added our deadline funnel tracking code down here in this section. So when you have to add your Pinterest tracking pixel, for example, you're going to go down here and you're going to hit enter, enter, and you're going to add it to all pages too. So they're all going to have a code like this where you have to install it so that it shows up on all pages. So their pixel fires on all pages, but sometimes Facebook included, but Facebook does it automatically. Pinterest and some of these other platforms, you have to paste another code, a little tiny snippet of code into certain sections when they happen on the website. So when somebody clicks pay or to submit their payment inside of Thrivecart, you need a code to fire back to Pinterest or whatever other platforms you're using. And that code will go in, let's see, checkout page. So you'd put like your initiate checkout on this one. You would put when, so when somebody actually purchases the one I was just talking about and they click to submit their payment, you want that code to fire here. That would be called your purchase code. And purchase, I believe, is what they all still call them. Uh, when I set it up, they all called it a purchase. So that code would go in here. And it's they're not very long. They're just little short pieces of code that usually have the dollar amount that they purchased for in there. And with Facebook, because they are integrated, it populates that dynamically, meaning it does it for you. But with some of these other platforms, you're going to have to paste the code in here with the dollar amount that actually shows how much they paid for their membership, okay? So you can put those things in based on which product they purchased too. So you can get really detailed with your tracking. Do you need to do that at the beginning? No, but the more products you add, you are, you are gonna wanna do, track it a whole lot better because the more you know your numbers, the better you can eliminate sending ads to people that don't need to see them. The better you know your numbers in your business, the more successful you're going to be. That's just the way it works. And then the same thing with your bump offer. So if somebody purchases your bump offer, you want to put that purchase pixel code in here too. And with the new dollar amount, meaning they added extra amount on top of whatever your monthly payment was for your membership or your trial or whatever. All right. So I just wanted to point those things out. So this works a little bit different, but it's very organized. They tell you exactly which codes to put where. That's it for lesson two. Let's head on to wrap up day 24.